Here's Jan looking for uh, Evie and Charles tombstone. Uh, look at the, uh, Here's Dave. Tipped. Yeah, it sunk a little on one side, it looks. But it's not as bad as a lot of these can get. There's Charles, 1909 to 1982. And Aunt Evie, 1912 to 1995. And look, Jack, from where she lived. You know, straight across. Yep, she the lived road. right over there in Rook. Yeah, right across the road. You go right into where her house was. She didn't come straight, far. Straight sight. She probably still goes back over there and visits. I wouldn't doubt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here's Mary Bell Jones. She's the one that uh, that uh, wrote the nice letter to um, Ruth uh, Arner. Uh, her mother that uh, uh, Ruth gave me a copy of. So Mary Bell uh, Jones, uh, she uh, she lived out in California. As a matter of fact, I'm a little surprised she's buried here. And here's Bessie, who is Elizabeth Foster Bell. I'm not sure that'll come through, but. Yeah, the Fosters, they were a big part of the Bell family. And Matilda Foster, who was the wife of uh, John A. Here's John A. Eighteen fifty four to nineteen thirty three. Now this guy here only lived to be 24. Ross. Uh, Ross Foster Chapin. He was the son of Tilly Bell and Newton Chapin. Yeah, I've got them on the so, family tree. Yes. Pop Bell and uh, Florence. <laughs> yeah, Florence uh, was 1880 to 1939. And... Uh, Winfield Fred. Boy, I love that name, Winfield. He was 1875 to 1959. And there's Edwina Morse, 1888 to 1933, wife of Gilbert. And we got Lulu back here. I think she went by Lou, didn't she? I think they, Dad always called her Lulu. Did, did he? Yeah, she died real young, 28, 1907. She had a, um, galloping consumption, I believe. Really? Okay, here's uh, Pap Pap, I think they called him. Didn't they, uh, Winfield S? I believe. Who was uh, Pop's uh, father? Father. 1852 to 1914. That's his brother. Gil. July 24th, 1887 to... Now, now, that wouldn't be his brother. This was, uh, this was, uh, the son of that was John... Pop's brother, right? Pop's brother, right. Pop's, yeah, I mean, you know, I always come back. You always got to go back to that family tree and now, reconnoiter. There were 12 years, though, between 1887... And Pop was born in 1875, but I believe they were brothers. And then Squire. Here he is. Here he is. And yeah, John had to have been here because there's flowers over here for Win, Win or Scotty. Yeah, here's a wreath and uh, stone for. Uh, Scotty, 1928 to 1987. Scotty, we're thinking about you right now. 
Remember what a good looking guy you were. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. He was my first love. Yeah, yeah, we thought you were the handsomest guy in town back when you visited us in Warriors Road. Jenny noticed this uh, big monument for the bells, and I wanted to see this is uh, Isabella Bell. Born in County Durham, England, 1814, died in February 28, 1896. Here's uh, 1814, born. Here's Jane Bell, born in 1836, died in 1900. Oh my, here's... Uh, my, I think it's beloved George Bell. Boy, can't read it at all. I think it's 1831, born, but I can't read when they died. The yeah, that is, that says here. died. He died January 22nd, uh, 18, I think it's 1831. 31. Yeah, it looks like a three. In the something of... Age. In the something, something year, year of age of old age, and then this one this, here, whatever this said, is completely gone. Yeah, I think it's uh, something eleven at the end there. That might be eighteen ninety one. He was born in eighteen eleven, so eighty years old. That was uh, my something. Yeah, I can't read what the word is next to my. My husband. My husband, husband George MD. Bell. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so that was Jane Bell's husband, and she died in 1900, so that must be that he died in 1891.